So again, what's your best friend? The local forecasters app, if you have after school, afternoon, early evening plans. We're going to have some activity around, not widespread, sort of scattered, but late afternoon into the evening could be some of the heavier soakers, mostly dry overnight, near 70 again when we wake up tomorrow on the balmy side. And then, hey, we're right back at it tomorrow. And I'll tell you, if I could just cut and paste to Wednesday, it's very similar forecast. This is a look at humidity and you know just any area covered in green is seeing an increase in dew points, humidity, the uncomfortable feel and as we put this model into motion, Tuesday still muggy and the darker green showing up mean even more muggy as we head through your Tuesday, Wednesday still sticking around, Thursday the warm and muggies, Friday, ugh, come on. Saturday, finally, we begin to break the pattern and we take showers out of the forecast for the weekend. So if there's any good news, there's that because we have spotty rain and thunder chances most of the week, especially diurnal with the afternoon heating. We get more and more of these flare ups. And again, I do believe through the afternoon and early evening that we'll have some pretty good gushers out there. And again, right back at it tomorrow with again, warm, muggy, spotty rain and thunder coming and going Wednesday again, just about the same, except that it looks like through the late afternoon and evening, the shower chances could relent. And again, Evra, just looking at the light at the end of the tunnel, mm -hmm. the weekend looks really nice. Although it's warm, it's not going to be as muggy or wet. All right. Well, we like